Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here with a brand new video series, kind of, uh, called Gotcha Saving. So, what's this video series about? It's really about um, the savings I do with gotchas. It's kind of self-explanatory. So I play a lot of gotchas, um, and I don't have a lot of money. I have to end up sa saving a lot of stuff, um, especially with the current situation I'm in. That doesn't mean I don't spend. I do occasionally spend for videos and stuff. Um, and stuff like that. Um, but I realized this month is really, really rough for a lot of my gotchas, so I kind of wanted to break down what I got, any temptations I think I might face this month, kind of give a basic overview of the month of whether or not I think I'm going to be able to keep all my savings. There's definitely a lot of these that I want to save a whole bunch, and I also kind of want to use this as an excuse to be like, hey, now you guys kind of know aroundish how much I have, and I kind of want to keep saving how much I have. Um month to month basically so that's gonna be today's video i hope you like it if you do you can always leave a like comment tell me how you're feeling in gotcha savings i know a lot of people um are similar to me in that they don't always crazy whale well. i know it seems like the vast majority of um gotcha youtubers that you see uh, i guess which technically speaking i am one do well like crazy on the game i'm not really a whale i don't really see myself as a whale um, I don't really feel see myself as like a dolphin either. I feel I'm more like a um, large sea bass. Not even a large sea bass. I'm like the Nemo's dad. There you go. I'm a clownfish <laughs> in the grand scheme of the ecosystem of Gotcha. <laughs> so let's get into it. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. So let's first let's break break down um, the Gotchas that I currently have. So we got Fate Grand order and a version and then we got fgo jp which is the same game but it's a japanese version of it jo no i'm not doing that uh, it is fake grand order whatever next um i'm gonna put down narvel duel it is technically not a gotcha though um peter patter pop it's sometimes popping dragalia lost dokkan jp version um, Bounty Rush, and Star Smash. Okay. Alright, so let's tackle the big boy first. Um, we'll go into Fake Grand Order North American version, so. Um, I currently believe I have three tickets, and... So the currency in Fake Grand Order, just to kind of give a little heads up to it, is it's tickets and quartz based. Um, there's a secret savings there too, but if it's not in my general view, I don't really consider it a thing I can spend. Um, so I'm not going to be counting that. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how it goes. And for Fake Grand Order, it takes 30 Saint Quartz to do one multi, and 10 tickets would be equivalent to one multi. Um, I'll kind of get explain a little bit more into tickets, and I'm going to be explaining why I'm going to be doing some of the savings. Um, but yeah, let me finish uh, putting this out real quick, though. Um, so I have, just to double check here, three tickets. I actually don't have three tickets. I actually double checked by logging in. I have one ticket. And 380 Saint Quartz. Okay. So I don't have any more temptations this month. All the though I've actually been saving all these Saint Quartz for the Samba Time banner. So a lot of my savings, um, are going towards this banner specifically. So I'm actually kind of done at the end here. So in terms of this right here, a lot of this is gonna kind of be going here. But at the same time, I don't wanna actually use all of it because I need to save at least, um, if it were up to me. So my goal is I want an NP2 um, Quetz uh, Coral, or Quetz just for short. Uh, but her summon rate is uh, hilariously low. It is, I believe, 0.7%. There you go. It is 0.7% chance of an SSR. 
Um, it, well, it's one percent. I believe it is one percent chance of it actually being a SSR, and then a zero point seven percent chance of the one percent chance that it'll actually be Quetz when it is her day. Um, so I believe in order to guarantee a actual one dupe copy, you would need at least nine hundred quarts. And I'd, uh, SQ. So, um, let me put up a calculator real quick. Calculator. So let's see, if we do 900 minus 380, we are 520 short of actually being able to pull a damn character there is no guaranteed rates at all um and it's a real shame because of this 380 quarts i don't really want to use all of it on her i'm gonna end up using a lot of it at the very least i want to save save 15 quarts the reason is that gssr is paid quarts and i can just use that paid quartz from there um and that's all the big thing in december only banner Pulling on, and that's all I have to worry on for this month. If I am able to pull her sooner, um, that's really going to be the best for me. But that's currently how I'm looking at in Fate Grand Order, the North American side. I have been saving up this for a long time. I actually made an entire video gate uh, video dedicated to my specific uh, journey into it. If you want to look more into it, it is the the Quetz um, look at things. Now, you see here, I have a bunch of stuff here on... That's it for NA. We're leaving it NA now. That's what I basically want. That's kind of what I'm thinking of here. And also... Oh, wait. There's actually one more thing. I want to... Let me see. Hello. You... You... Use zero tickets until the anniversary. So, if you're watching this, I'm going to have to ask you to hold me accountable. I currently have one ticket, um, and I don't want to use it anymore. I'm tired of using tickets. When the anniversary hits, there's going to be banner changes to Fake Grand Order that's going to make it more similar to the Japanese version of the game. And what that's going to do is that it's going to allow me to um, basically get a multi out of 10 tickets. I will get 11 pulls out instead of 10, so it makes it better. Um, so yeah, that's Fake Grand Order NA. Now let's go to JP. I currently have um, 5 tickets and 15 quarts <laughs> in the Japanese side of the game. <laughs> um, and I am saving towards potentially Ushi. New Ushi. Please. Um, no way in hell I'm able to do this. So really, the way I pr approach uh, the Japanese side of the game is that whatever very rare things I have, I immediately pull. I feel a lot of people have that gotcha on them. Um, I'm also going to remove Marvel Duel. I just realized there's no reason for me to be saving anything. Um, oops. Okay. One moment. All right. Keep on going. Um... Yeah, the way I approach it is that I'm I never save for anything. So there's no real banner occurring up coming up in JP that I would actually care about. Um, Christmas wise, I can't think of them releasing any new unit that I would badly want that isn't just a new Quetz or something, or one of the girls I already like. Um, the only one that's a potential danger is I do want that new Ushi, and if I have that new Ushi, I will at least attempt to continue. It's not even like one of those things where it's like, oh, I badly need it. I don't need it. I don't need it at all. <laughs> I just like having them and showing to friends that I have them. That's kind of how I like to see it in JP, is that I like to kind of have a gotcha where I can just spend whatever and not have to care that much. And that's how I treat JP for me personally. Um, 
I have done some summon videos for the JP side of the game during summer, but man, oh boy, I had one bad experience um, during summer two for this year, and it was just so bad. I didn't get any of this. I only got one summer unit all over, and if you see me pull in North America, I'm usually pretty good at getting at least um, half of them, but in that case, I just got completely screwed over. So it does kind of like make me want to play it less. So that's kind of how I feel right here. Um, so yeah, that's JP. And speaking of a game where I don't really care what I pull, Pitter Patter Pop. Um, I'm currently logging in to see how much I have because I'm going to assume it's not much. Um, I think 450 is the amount you need for a full multi, but there's also a lot of step ups, so sometimes you only really need 200. Um, so it's not too bad. So let me see. I have zero tickets. I know that much for sure. I have zero tickets and I have a hundred and five diamonds. Okay, so what could I possibly want from Pitter Patter Pop? Uh, this is a bit tough. What I would ever want from Pitter Patter Pop is a new Jonathan or anything past part five of JoJo. Stop releasing part five characters I do not like them, and it makes makes me want to not play. Yeah. You only release part five and part five, part three, and part four characters. So here's my main beef with Peter Patter Pop, um, is that because it's so anime focused, it only really stops at part five and never goes past it. So that means you don't get any of the stuff from part six, seven, or eight. So it ends up being that they just release the same damn characters from like four, three, and five over and over and over again. Um, at least that's how it feels like. It feels like every celebration, it's like, are you ready for another Geo? And the answer is no. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm, I'm in the minority on this, but I really don't like Part 5 JoJo that much. But to be fair, it's because I read it in manga form, and I thought the manga form of it really sucks. Uh, maybe the anime makes it better. Um, that's always possible, but who knows. So... Peter Patapop is in the same status as uh, Faker Android JP in that I occasionally log in, do my stuff, and then leave. Um, that's just the way it is, you know. Another one of those gotchas where it very rarely gets played. Um, let's move on to Dragalia Lost. So I have currently in Dragalia. So in Dragalia, it costs um, 10 tickets, one multi ticket. Or 1,200 Wormite to do a full multi in the game. So I currently have around three tickets. One multi ticket and 40,000 Wormite. So you're saying, oh man, that's a whole bunch. Um, here's a big problem uh, Sparkings cost. I believe that's 36,000. So what is a sparking? A sparking means that if I just fail completely, I have to do 300 summons, I believe. Um, let me see if it's true. 1,200 times 30 equals, yeah, 36,000. Um, it, it basically guarantees me the character at that point. Um, so the way I see it is that if there's a one character that I could badly want that I would want to use sparking, I always want to be around above 36,000. So therefore, of the 40,000 Wormite that I have, I will not spend, um, 36,000 of it. That's just the way it's always going to go. So if we actually minus the 40,000, my actual amount is 4,000 spendable. Uh, Wormite. Now, tickets do count towards the sparking count, but I end up just using the expendable Wormite and the tickets for multi-summoning. 
and I never want to go below 36,000. Very rarely do I go like, okay, maybe 35, because I know um, 1,000 is not usually enough. Um, in terms of, oh god, temptations this much. So here's the thing, I want to save towards um, a potential collab that might be coming in the future that we don't know is coming or not. Um, so I want to always keep 36,000 just in case for that very reason. Problem is, um, let me see. So in terms of banners, we got Dragon Yule 3, New Year's Banner. So that's really it. Um, I forgot that. There's actually not much. I already passed an current collab. Already pulled my dog, Pandora. So I am good with current collab. So really is Dragon Yule 3 and New Year's Banner, which would have limited units. Those, that's the thing I care about most. Um, Dragalia is no longer in the state it used to be, where it was very easy to get Wormite constantly, and a lot of you, very easy to get tickets, it's actually very hard to get any of it, so I have to keep a constant eye on what this is. I, chances are, will never save very much tickets and stuff, just because I have to for videos, you know. Um, the way the channel works, and the way gotcha, <laughs> the gotcha community in general does, so a lot of people go to summon videos, um, it's really your main focus on a lot of things, so I can't grow... Um, if I don't do summon videos, this is the way it is it. I already hurt myself enough not doing constant fake grand order summon videos, so Dragalia kind of has to pick up the slack in that case, and thankfully Dra Dragalia loss is much easier to be free to play friendly than uh, fake grand order for sure. So I'm able to kind of cut my losses in that case, but um, as long as I always stay above, as long as I always have 36,000 at the clip, I think I'm going to be pretty happy about it. Um... Um, but let me tell you, some of those stuff that will be coming in the future, the collab stuff is really cool. I'm not mentioning it just because it's not confirmed, so I don't want to give anyone's hopes up and they start Dragalia Loss specifically for those characters. It just seems cruel to do that, I think, so I'm not going to do that. I will talk about them, but I don't know if they're going to be actually coming. I'm going to take a real quick sip. Like I said, I'm going to take a sip and I took a chug. So that's currently how I feel. Um, now let's move on to Dokkan JP. Oh boy. Um, I think I have like 130 stones? Pretty close. Um, 130 stones and current want is to save for Guaranteed LR banner will need around 300 stones. Okay, so I need quick simple maps. I'm bad with maps, so that's why I'm doing this. 130. So I need 170 stones. Um. Current temptations for this month. Potential Super Saiyan 2 Go on Murder from Bojack movie. He becomes a crazy murder monster, and that shit is cool. So, super the <laughs> current banner is Bojack, and he does nothing for me. I could not get any softer unless it was somehow Bojack eating soup fried noodles. Even if Bojack was the strongest noodle eating boy that would never make me hard so yeah bojack i don't know what the fuck they were thinking just releasing bojack and then nothing else they released bojack because they need to release bojack for super saiyan 2 gohan um but releasing bojack without a super saiyan 2 gohan is basically leaving bojack out to die which is what they did um 
That's at least what I feel like they did. They they murdered this man um, for this. So I don't know if I'll be able to make 170 stones. Here's the current problem with Dokkan is that a lot of my stone count came from Dokkan hitting top grossing and Dokkan has not hit top grossing in, in a very long time. In a very disconcerting way uh, for someone who doesn't like to spend in Dokkan. I don't spend in Dokkan at all. Um, I think it's a fool's errand, uh, not to talk any smack to my good friend, uh, Truth and D-Free and, uh, you know, Rhyme Nan, all those dudes who actually spend it, they're actually able to make money from it by doing it. So they're not like, oh my god, we're in the poorhouse because I spent too much, uh, trying to get LR Janemba or some dumb fucking LR that they're gonna release, uh, later on in the future. I don't have that fallback, so I have to kind of do it this way, so... Hopefully I'm able to do it. I currently don't want to spend anything. We'll see how we are closer to the end of the month. Um, but I think I could probably make 170 stones. We'll see. Um, I also like making Dokkan summon videos. Those are really fun and they seem to be well liked. So that's something that keeps me motivated as well. Bounty Rush. Um, Bounty Rush, I currently have 200 diamonds don't want anything, but should start saving for potential extreme bounty festival. So Bounty Rush is in a weird spot where, for the most part, as long as there's a character that I want, I can easily get. Um, I don't really have that much trouble pulling for characters. The only exception yeah, they don't happen very often, but when they do happen, they're a pain in the ass, is um, bo Extreme Bounty Festivals. They are the LR equivalents of the game. They take so much resources to actually pull Guaranteed. Um, it takes around-ish 780 to 1,000 diamonds. So I basically want to start saving up for, um, you know, for when it actually gets this much. Because um, then I would rather be prepared. I think it's been a while since the last one, so I kind of, I'm like already kind of prepared. Potential banners that, that could hurt. A, a, Nami. Christmas with her boobs on display. We already have a Nico Robin, so I don't have to worry about that. The bunny girl, Santa Brooke, and a lot of other female <laughs> One Piece characters or current ones that are in game already but have a bitchin santa costume yeah i'm not gonna uh, mince words here i like women so that's currently bounty rush but even then i think of that amount they would only take around like what 200 because they are on step up banners and usually um they're pretty easy to pull so final final gotcha we got star smash um, for Star Smash, I have around a thousand currency, and it co costs three thousand for one mold. Okay. Um, I already have Alice in Wonderland, which would be the one character that I kind of um. It's the one character I would that would I thought was gonna break my bank, but it didn't, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, currently, I am s currently saving for potential nightmare before Christmas on Christmas banner. So yeah, after the Alice event ends, it's gonna look like we'll have enough time for an event before Christmas. And if I was a Disney gotcha, I would release um, Nightmare Before Christmas. But speculation at best. 
so there you go. Um, I don't really have anything to say. There's a lot of stuff I would want in Star Smash, but... I don't know. It's fair to play friendly enough that I don't feel like, um... I'm in too much danger of anything, really, so I'll keep it cool for now. But yeah, that's there you go. That's the end of today's video, man. That's basically how I feel currently. Um, a lot of these are being close to the ending of their long wait streaks. A lot of these are starting theirs. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I hope you enjoyed this, man. This is me just kind of getting my thoughts out there. I hope you liked it. It's a very weird and different kind of video, but hey. I'm a very weird and different kind of guy. So, again, if you want to tell me about your specific savings, it doesn't have to be any of the the gotchas I mentioned here. Feel free to tell me about whatever, man. I'll, I'll listen. But that's it for me, man. I'm going to end the video now. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, and also happy savings.